Hello everyone, I'm Ronan and Chain. I am right now heading out to go to a very uh, exciting event. Mr. Quentin Tarantino is having a book launch event at his theater at the New Beverly Cinema in Hollywood, California. And I was lucky enough to get tickets to this very uh, last minute few days ahead of time. Um, very limited event. I was lucky enough to get a ticket and now I'm gonna head over to LA and spend a day there and hopefully go to the new Beverly Cinema and shoot as much as I can and do maybe a mini vlog. I know he said no phones or recording allowed in the cinema but I want to take some nice pictures of New Beverly because I've never been. I also know that there's gonna be a recording of the uh, Real Blend Cinema Blend podcast show that I follow on YouTube with the uh, the guys there and it's going to be fun. Hopefully I can meet them. Hopefully I can meet Mr. Tarantino and maybe shake his hand, elbow, elbow, whatever, how he feels comfortable and just let him know how much I love his movies and how much they mean a lot to me. To the point that I might, you know, fly out in a cosplay version of his character Cliff Booth. Let's go. I'm at the New Beverly Cinema. And it's no phones, no electronic items around, so I'm gonna have to check that in. But I'll uh, hopefully describe stuff better and, and maybe we can record it. But here's the marquee. They cut it from the phone. Aww. Now that the event has concluded, um, just to give you a little rundown, yeah, unfortunately, we couldn't take any phones, any recording devices into the cinema, I could record anything or whatnot, so unfortunately, it was now kept down to a mini vlog, um, but it was a tremendous great great experience of being first being my first time at the new Beverly cinema which I've never been I was lucky enough to be that and the fact that we're celebrating a director and his new novel that just expanded on possibly my favorite film of his it's up there with uh, Django Unchained and Inglorious Bastards and Pulp Fiction in my opinion um, and he gave us some great cool stories that came out of all that um, there's a great story about Uma Thurman and her costume with the uh, from the Kill Bill uh, film or films, depending. He said I, I go with him that Kill Bill Volume One and Two is one film, so I would go with that. But there's an interesting story behind the uh, um, the costume she wears, the, the white jumpsuit, which is the Bruce Lee costume from Game of Death. Um, that possibly she may or may not have been a fan of it initially. And it took some convincing to come about that, for her to go along with it. Um, but I'll, I'll, I will talk about that in a bit. And he told us about um, how he met a real life Rick Dalton and how that came to be. Uh, expanded on that he had about three hours and 30 minutes, 20 minutes, I forgot I forgot what was the number, but it was a, a, a footage that he had shot for Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. And now he came to about to switch stuff in the book, in the novelization, how stuff that is referenced or said comes very, very early, early on, and how uh, the example of just how much Cliff Booth went in the war of World War II, and how, I shouldn't even say this because I, I want people to read the book blankly and um, enjoy it fully but it was a hell of an experience uh, I got to meet the guys from Real Blend the Cinema Blend podcast the Real Blend podcast uh, they are great I have always been a fan of theirs and how they uh, interview people in the industry of that I've liked or just even just Quentin they've, uh, they interviewed him twice now and this is now their third time doing it uh, the venue was great everyone working on it was incredible um Shout out to the people that I met there, Lawrence, Ariana, Andy, Ariana, I, I, I forgot which one to go by, um, Matt, 
Zach and Dave. I don't know if they're watching this, but it was great to uh, meet fellow cinephiles and Quentin Tarantino hardcore fans and just vibe with them a bit about like, oh, what do you think of this? And, blah, blah, blah. and um, I got to shake the man's hand and talk to him for like a minute. I felt or two and just tell him how much I appreciate his, his filmography, how much I'm a big fan of his and what he did to me as someone from LA and what Once Upon a Time in Hollywood means and um, I, I'm dressed as Cliff Booth and he, he dug the costume and I just, I don't know why, I just said, Dad! And he got a good laugh out of it. That, like I, He's my fictional father and I'm dressed as his fictional son. That was one of his, one of his characters that he came up with so that was... That was kind of fun. And I also want to showcase some of the goodies I got from the uh, new, new Beverly Cinema. I got this cool Red Apples t-shirt right now that I'll, I'll, you'll see right now a photo of it when I reveal it and it's so gorgeous and it's, I love the color and um, it's a cool memento of one of his cool uh, in-universe items that's gone from all films from Reservoir Dogs to Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. and. Besides getting a, a copy and then something cool inside of it, um, we got some goodies more from the folks at the New Beverly. We got a couple of three. Yeah, we got like three bookmarks. Let's see. You have the clip one that says, "See the movie." Read the book. So that's pretty cool. Here's one of the two photos that right now are used as the cover for the book. There's Sharon Tate and Cliff Booth. Sharon is, I believe, at Jay Sebring's, Sebring's uh, barbershop, and it's just Cliff Booth uh, just driving around Hollywood. And let's see what else. Ooh, I got some. <laughs> I got some pins. Let's see. Got it's basically all the it's the three pictures of the front of the cover of the book in the pin format. So there's Cliff Booth driving around. Here's Rick Dalton. He's there as Jake Cahill on Bounty Law. Sharon Tate. So those are the pins that came with it. And then what else I got? I got a keychain. I think? Hold on. It is so cool. Oh my gosh! I got a new Beverly Cinema keychain. So cool. I can use that now. It said that there was going to be a free copy of the book coming with the package of you getting a ticket to this event and seeing the Real Blend two-hour uh, uh, recording podcast as w with Quentin Tarantino. And he read a chapter of the book. I believe it was chapter 17. Let me double check. Yep, it was chapter 17, The Medal of Valor. Um, holy hell. I'm not going to spoil what happens, but read it. And that's the chapter that Quentin uh, read to us. And then he read uh, two paragraphs. I forgot from what part of it. And uh, yeah, I can't wait to uh, do a review of the book because I read the first two chapters and I'm already blown by like how, whoa, this is different than how the movie started and stuff is switched around. It's like, what are they, where are they going with this? And it's just, uh, I am fired up to go back into this world. Now, unfortunately, again, like I said, I couldn't record anything inside of the, the, the cinema, but the names that I, the folks that I met there, and also the Real Blend guys, Sean, Kevin, Jake, and Gabe, uh, thank you so much for taking the time to say hi and just talked a bit and we took a picture and um, hopefully you can all watch their YouTube uh, 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 video recording of two hour event and hopefully you could uh, hear the great uh, questions they came up with and just talking about different scenarios and bringing up something that may have come out recently in interviews and just see what happens but it was just a fun time and uh, it was a hell, hell, of a, hell of a day to just spend time at the uh, cinema with El Maestro Quentin Tarantino and here's going to be 
some just shots with uh, maybe cool music just showing off a little bit of how I felt uh, seeing the big sign and just meeting some people and just seeing how it was just a fun time, fun time. And that's it for my uh, vlog thank you so much for checking out the video if you guys like the mini vlog and my talk about the merch that came up with it uh, hit the like button for this video subscribe for more content post your comments down below uh, I hopefully I can get the uh, review out as soon as possible and delve deep into it to see what I think of it and maybe one day do some Tarantino videos on some of his movies and look for more content coming out of the channel. Thank you so much and away we go.